Obviously, it was an acid attack, and she also has stab wound on her chest and abdomen. It is an, a miracle that she's still alive. Why would anybody do this kind of thing to another human being? I don't know. But all I know is that if we want her to live, I will should at least look into those wounds immediately. Yeah, Luckily, right. the acid did not affect her eyes. I can't go for that. Any other reconstruction needs to be done, can be done later, okay. if the people have the money. Henry is not about her people, it's about this girl getting well. I don't mind footing the bill, please. <laughs> Whatever needs to be done, just go ahead and do it. You know, this, your, some of this, your Christian ideas might put you into trouble one of these days. Henry, you should know by now that trouble has never stopped me from doing what I know I have to do. All right, if you say so. But do you know anything about her? Not yet, but I believe God has a reason for taking me that way and then making me to bring her here. It's all right. It's all right. I've put her under sedation. Okay. She will be going to theater for surgery in the next 15 minutes. Let's go. She's all right. This is what she will do. Hello? Oh, honey. I'm, I'm sorry. I can't come home right away. Listen, listen, listen. I met a girl by the roadside who had been abandoned with some stab wounds and a disfigured face. Probably an acid bath or something. So I had to take her to, to the hospital. Yes, yes, yes. Henry's hospital, that's where I am. He says she needs some surgery and you know whatever, whatever. But I'm just trying to stay back to see you know how the whole thing comes, comes out. Oh, there's no need for you to come. Okay, okay. If, if you insist, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, see you later. Okay. Darling, what is this in 
I'm hearing about acid bad. What happened? Who is involved? Calm down, calm down, calm down. Sit down, sit down, sit down. You know what? As I told you on the phone, I was just driving along and I saw this girl lying by the roadside. I went down to look at her and she was badly disfigured. I had some stab wounds. So I had to put her in the car and bring her here to the hospital. Thank God Henry was on duty, so he swung into action immediately. I think she should be in surgery right now. Can we see her? Uh, let's just wait for Henry to come out. I believe she's resting now, so just say a little prayer and uh, let her just be on her own. Let us pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. Father, your word says that you were wounded for our transgressions and bruised for our iniquities. Yes. And that the chastisement that brought us peace was upon you and by your stripes we were healed. Yes, Lord. I do not know how you're going to do it, Lord, but I know you're more than able yes. to heal this young girl and bring her back to the way you created her in the first place. Yes, Lord. Lord, do it and let your name be glorified in Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah, baby. Yes. I'm sure the money will be enough for you to buy the shoes. Well, let's pray so. You know, if it's not, I'm going to give you a call immediately. I know, I know what you can do. <laughs> well, I will come back and take you later this evening, okay? All right, I'll be waiting. Okay, make sure you keep something good for me. You know, I will keep something good. Something good? good. <laughs> All the time. Right. <laughs> Uncle T. Mm. Catch you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Bye bye. Good evening, sir. Good evening, madam. What do you want? Uh, I am just coming from the shop, but I didn't see anybody, so I decided to come to the house. Is anybody owing you in my shop? I I don't understand your question. Actually, I am looking for Chiamaka. She traveled. To where? Are you mad? Are you cross-examining me or questioning me? Look, my friend. If you don't take your dirty body out of this compound right now, I will loosen the docks on you. I'm sorry, madam, but she never told me she was traveling. Is she going to announce to the whole world when she's traveling? Now get out. I said get out. I will loosen the docks on you. At the count of three, you are out. One, two, three. Give me the Give me the Give me
she just a lucky girl. Well, all I can say is that God must be blessed. Because it's only someone whom God has blessed yes. that can survive what she has gone through. It was a close call. The two stabs missed the vital organs by inches. Oh, please, God. What about her face? Uh, that's a different thing altogether. When she's ready, we'll make all necessary arrangements for the reconstructive surgery. We are all lucky that her eyes are not affected. Mm -hmm. Did you say your mother and your brother are responsible for this? Yes. But this are you sure? Yes. It was it it's a long story. It all started when I was a teenager. Richard! Richard! Hmm. Uh, what do you think you're going? Eh? Uh, what do you think you're going? Why do you think you're going? Vicky, what is the meaning of all this? What is the meaning of what? For God's sake, what do you want to do with 500,000 naira? Is, is, is it up your mouth to give to us your useless girl for it? Is it up to you? Shut up your mouth. To give me 500,000 naira for what? To open a black pillow? So you won't give it to me? You won't give it to me, eh? Okay, if you don't give me that money, I will get it from someone else. Just watch me. Come and go to work, let me see now. Come and go to work. What are you doing at? Eh? What are you doing at? Are you my what is the late shot? Eh? All right, just go away. Run, you will come and meet me. All right, you don't want to give me that money, have you? Shot. You, you will come back and meet me. You will know that I know Miss Victoria. Which money? The money I want to use to open my business now. Victoria, I'm sorry I don't have any money. I've invested all the money I have in a, a new business venture through my marketing advisor. I don't have money to give you. Uh, eh? You don't have money to give me? Eh? You don't have money to give me? If you don't give me that money in, 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 in this night, me and you will die in this house, though. Are you hearing me? Me and you will die in this house this night, though. Are you going to give me the money or not? Vicky. Are you going to give me the money or not? Want me to rest. Mm. 
It's okay. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. No, no, are you not giving me the money? Yeah. Hey, are you not giving me the money? Yes, I will give you. I will give you now. Are you seeing your father? Are you seeing your father? Okay. Richard, eh? Richard will see. He will not find peace in this house. Like I told you, men are naturally stingy. They are very stingy. Yeah? But the best way to get things from them is not by fighting them. It's not. Beauty, you don't understand. You don't understand. There is nothing I have not done. He simply refuses to budge. Eh? What am I going to do? My dear, there are things a wise woman knows that men do not know. Don't worry. You will be surprised at the ease with which she will give you the money. Eh? Don't worry. Huh. Uh, if you have chance tomorrow, go over to the shop. Richard is trying. work things out. Eh? Richard is trying me. It's okay. Richard is trying okay. me. A sweet looking babe like you should not be looking for anything. Huh? They should come down and kneel down for you. Uh, uh, just trust Can me. Can you imagine? Ah, eh? Just come tomorrow. Eh? Go tomorrow. Anyway, um, work this out. I'll find time and come over. Okay? It's okay. Well, I'm sorry I won't be able to see you. Let me just check what I'm cooking. It's okay. Just put yourself together. All right. Bye bye. Thank you. You take your food from the court. Mm. By the way, where is it, Joma? I guess she's inside. Please go and check what she's doing before she breaks my TV for me. Hey, Joma. Hey, Joma. Did you tell me you were hungry? Daddy said when I when I am hungry I can take from his food I remain for him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Continue eating lemon and patch, you have food.
in importation all went down the ship carrying his goods sank in the high sea from that time my father became a shadow of himself while my mother took over the running of the family and that was when she made the decision that ruined our lives. Yeah, tomorrow, okay? Oh, come on, girl. Oh, I love you. Okay, okay. Twenty thousand no more. Oh, tomorrow by four. I'll be there. I don't mind joint. Okay, <laughs> that's my girl. Um, little thing. Okay. Uh, yes, sir. You're looking for. Oh, fine. Good afternoon, sir. Mr. Wallace, sir. Fast, 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 fast. Smile, smile. <laughs> smile, smile, smile. You're full, 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 you're full. Don't say any word. Don't say anything. Don't say anything. Members at the back. Plenty for back. Plenty time for back. Smile. Keep smiling. <laughs> Something. 
Talk like this. You're as old as my father. And if I'm not mistaken, you have kids older than I am. Uh, forget about my kids. They're all schooling abroad, and my wife has just left me. See, I am lonely. That's why I need you to stay close to me, you know, keep me company, you know, take care of me, and things like that. Now, why don't you give your sweetheart a kiss? Don't do this, Gigi. Oh, you come and kiss me. Baby. Don't touch me! Don't touch me. I'm disappointed in you. I'm disappointed at your attitude towards me. You want to sleep with me. Uncle George, my mommy must hear this. I must tell my mommy. You know this is the season now. I have to go to the market. Yes, my suppliers want me to see them. Yes. Uh, Uncle T is fine. <laughs> I saw him last night. The guy is good. Um, all right, I will. I'll talk to you later. Okay. What is it? This is Uncle George. And what about Uncle George? Imagine Uncle George is trying to sleep with me. So? Mommy! What do you mean, Mommy? Huh? Where do you think I get all the money that I give you to buy spaghetti and stuff? Huh? You think I steal them? Mommy, how can you talk? Shut up. Now go inside, take the money on top of the TV, and get back to Uncle George's place. Why am I telling you to do it? Now go inside. Inside! <laughs> Have you not seen the money? Chiamaka! Chiamaka, come out here now! Now, Ron, go back to Uncle George's house. Whatever he wants you to do, you do it. Out! <laughs>
Did you tell your mother about what happened that night? I did. What was her reaction? She... She only welcomed me into womanhood. What about your elder brother, Michi? Did he know about the incident? And what was his own reaction? He... He laughed... He laughed at me. Please stop crying. Look at this, okay? Alright? It is. It's okay. It's okay. Everything will be okay. Don't cry, please. What kind of family is this? I don't understand. This is crying. Okay. How can this be It's okay, don't cry again. This is... This is simply incredible. Why was your father just there watching these things happen and not you know, doing anything? My... My mother made him stone hard. I can understand. Can you remember anything else? Yes. I remember the day my father got very angry. Very angry.
are you coming from? You left this house since morning without preparing food for me. You think you kept a fool in this house? Or because I don't want to say anything? Just look at you. Look at the type of training you are giving these children. Vicky, you are going to regret it. You will regret this one day. A word is enough for the wise. And I've, I've said my own. <laughs> Shamaka, where are you coming from? I'm asking you, where are you coming from? Just What? Come back here. Come back here. You must listen to me. You can perceive the sense. You now smoke Indian hemp. That is what your mother has led you to. You pursue men up and down. Is that what you want? Look at you. Look at each other. Come on, here, listen to me. Look at you. Come on, come on. Come on. Listen. Anything you ever touch me again, I'll break your head. Come on.
How long will it take you to make this mess? Can't you see I'm hungry? I am talking to you, Vicky. I said I'm hungry. You're hungry. All right. Go to the kitchen. Take the kettle. Put water inside it. Put it on the gas. Then bring out the gary. When the water boils, make it. Bring out the soup. Warm it. Then dish food out for yourself. I am busy. Ada does not stay in the house and watch uh, the goat deliver on the data. If he goes the mouth to say it and it's left for the ear to hear it. And uh, once, one certain thing is that uh, when the stubborn head is cut off, the stubborn ear follows. Uh, am, I, am I on track? Yeah, very, very good. Yeah, yeah. And Victoria, we have come to find out why you abandoned our brother at the hospital at this point in time? Well, you can ask him that. He will give you a better answer. And as for abandoning him at the hospital, I don't have money to pay for his bills. Vicky, <laughs> you mean you live in this big house, running a big business, and you're telling us you don't have money? Did you? Or your stupid brother. Chineke, start any business for me. Chineke, you call him. You call him stupid. Hey, where were you? I said, where were you when I asked him to open up a business for me before his supposed container fell into the sea? Where were you exactly? Now you come here and ask me to spend my hard-earned money that I labored for. On that buffoon, you must be out of your sense. You call it that buffoon? In fact, you are mad. You are crazy. You are crazy yourself. Uh, Victoria. Hey! You stand before us to insult us. Something must be wrong with you. Um, something like um, something must be wrong with you. Something must be wrong with you. Victoria, something must be wrong with you. Um, Amadi. Exactly, sit down. Amadi, sit down. Hey! Shh! Vicky. Don't do that. It's alright. Vicky. For your information, we have not come here to make trouble. We have not come here to raise our voices over nothing. We have only come here to make inquiries, and that is why we are here. We have not come here to, to shout over each other. I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't see why we should be doing this. Hey. Eh? I, I, don't, I don't see it. Why? Hey. Hey. Hi, guys. Hi, Mom. Hello, darling. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. Look at you. Come here. Is that the way you were taught to greet elders? And by the way, where are you coming from? And I hope you didn't sleep outside last night. 
Mommy, where did you employ bodyguards to start following me around? You see? Vivi! You see the kind of seed you're seeing in this family? You see? One man at war. One. Axelos is sort of the elders. Coming to greetings. Tell me, in what dictionary is it written that the young ones should greet the elder ones? Uh, if you people want greetings, you can greet me. Shut up your mouth, Smoker. Shut up your mouth. See, if all of you are through your mission, that is the door. Sorry. I say that is the door you stand. Hey, 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 Get out of my house before I loosen the door. So you... you are driving us away from my brother's house. Is that what you mean? Let us go. Something must be wrong with you. You are driving us away from my brother's house. Let us go. Let us go. You are driving us away from my brother's house. They say we should go. The door can be Get out. Unless you are going, you are clean the road. As the years went by, things went from bad to worse. I became a drug addict. I was living like a prostitute while Amechi joined a gang of thieves. My mother didn't see anything wrong in what we did as far as we brought money home. My mama said the operation was very smooth, mom. Mm. So you don't want to believe that. So I have a lot of cash here. Oh. So that I'm going to be nice. That's for you, mom. Yeah, mom. Yeah, mom. Yeah, mom. Bravo. Give me five. in the past without fulfilling it. You mean <laughs> tomorrow? Yes, you tomorrow. You me a car? Yes. A car tomorrow. Georgie boy. Yes, my dear. You're <laughs> down. <laughs> Thank you. So, do we go then? Yes. Tomorrow. Yes. Car tomorrow. Ah, yeah, I love it. Trust me anymore. Well, I do. Well, I am going to give you a surprise. Surprise? Yeah. So, um, could you give me an idea to what you're going to surprise oh, me? Oh, baby. 
That's my secret. All right. You say okay. so. <laughs> Nice to see you. Hello, baby. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Mom, guess what? Guess what? Oh, I can't. Mom, uh, guess. Just guess. I haven't the least idea. Just tell me. Judge is buying a car tomorrow. Are you kidding? I'm going to cruise around town, Mom. Are you kidding? I'm serious. You Judge see is getting me a car tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> that is my girl. You see? Now, thank God you've listened to my advice. Family, you're never gonna get prepared. I can't wait. Uh, I can't wait to get caught. Say it's my secret. Okay. I'll okay. do more than that for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my dear. Yeah. Thank you, my dear. Welcome. Welcome. Hey, please come and sit down. Guess what? What? How does it feel? Uncle T just bought me a Mercedes 300 coupe. That's great! <laughs> a Mercedes 300? Yes. I told you. This is just the beginning. Yes. I will introduce you to the bigger boys in town. It's just the beginning. Yes. I told you. Beauty. I don't know how to thank you for all you've done for me. It's okay. <laughs> the pleasure is all mine. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. That's why I brought this so we can celebrate. It's yeah, not so yeah. cold here. We put it in the fridge so okay. we can cool yeah, yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Yes. Here's my yes. gift. This is just the beginning. Mm -hmm. Look at that. It is a shop. Look at my car. Next time, it will be just missing 300 copies. Yes. To be a jeep. <laughs> <laughs> she love fight for everything. Yes, we have to pick. You need to come. We'll take a ride. So this is just the picking. <laughs> Listen, it will be a jeep. Oh, most fast cars. Uh, may I take a look at that bag? See this guy. Well, which one be your own now? Makai, this is a, uh, which one goes out with your bag? Makai, this is a feature source for this town. Sorry. I'm Agent John from the Drug Law Agency. May I take a look at that bag? Side the bag. Agent John. What? <laughs> Sir. Shut up! Uh, officer, it's not like that now. I need to open the door in that room. Shut your face. Yeah, you know my mom. Oh boy. Yeah. Move, move, move them! Oh boy. Oh boy. Move! That can miss you. That can miss you. Hey! Oh boy. Um, Richard, <clears throat> uh, we have come just to tell you that uh, the warrior does not run away from the war front. Um, there is need for you now to go back to your base and take control of your children. Uh, sometimes uh, some of us here now with our children, we know how difficult it is for us to control them. Then you consider yourself staying away. How can you control your children? And uh, moreover, you are now better. You are no more working with your stick. That is why I would advise that you go back to base. And again, uh, what I saw in your house last time uh, we visited your wife, myself, uh, Ezani and Amade, was so disgusting that even if you ask me now to go back, I won't go. So that is why it's now very important for you to go back, please, to take control of your children, if not that. Much as I condemn the ruling behavior of your wife, 
She will send dogs after us, the elders. I still advise that um, you go back and uh, take control of your house. You are the man of the house. Um, it's your handicap. I've heard all you've said. Everything you have said is correct. It's not that I don't know what to do. I tried my best to train those children. But the kids, kids got spoiled also of their mother's behavior. There is no way they will listen to me now. Going back to talk to them is a waste of time. Uh, yes, uh, uh, I'm still insisting that uh, you go back and take control of your children, not your wife. Uh, Mazo Hadike, it's better I tell you this now. I have decided to come back to the village to spend the rest of my life. Mm. Oh. That means I have retired home. Hey, you are welcome. We can uh, as well stay with you. After all, when they go, yes, we are good. You will have good help to all of us. We can work on you and the assist to settle down. At least I was farming before I tried. I was farming now. You have a lot to farm and farm. It was at that point that I knew that I could not stay with him. Maybe I had seen too much that I couldn't bear it anymore. So he decided to draw me close to him in his own way. I went to bed one night and woke up the following morning completely blind.
George, yes. since we came to the hospital, you've not said a word. Besides, you don't want to tell me what the doctor said about my eyes. No, gee, it's not that. You see, I, I am meditating on something. What are you meditating on? Gee, I, I, I am bothered about your condition. That's what I'm thinking about. Is that why you don't want to tell me what the doctor said? The doctor said we should come back on Friday. George, please tell me the truth. Did he say I'll see you again? Please, I need to know the truth. For Christ's sake, I've told you the truth. It's a lie, and I, I feel it. It's a lie. Now, get into this guy. Let's move. My sins are so many, I don't even know where to start from. But please, I need your help. God, even though I may not see you again, please forgive me. I'm all alone in this dark world. And nobody to turn to. Please, I need your help. Amen.
After the day George brought you back from the hospital, did he visit again or did he just go away? He used to visit, but not like before. What about your mother? Did she take you to the hospital or did she leave you at home? She... Wicked. I don't know. So, how did you regain your sight? It, it was this day the most amazing day of my life. Can I help you? Uh, yes, madam. We are from Life Salvation Church. We are going house to house preaching the word of our Lord Jesus Christ. I don't know if we are welcome in your house. Who say they are preachers? Preachers? Have they gone? How am I supposed to know? I don't care. And where are you going? Are you not hearing me? I said, where are you going? I'd like to speak with you. Are you around? Have you gone? Have you gone? No, we are still here. Oh. Uh, How are you, sister? I'm fine. Um, I I'd like to talk. With you, please come in. Uh, no, that woman in there must be your mother. Oh, yes, she's my mother. I'm sorry for the way she treated you. No, oh, it's alright, no problem. Huh? No problem. Okay. Um, come in. No, no, don't worry. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Yes, it's right. Okay. Um. Sorry for your condition. Uh, sister, not to worry, okay? It will be fine. Just believe in God. There is nothing impossible. Hmm? I, I want to share the word of God with you. The, the book of John, chapter 3, verse 16, says, For God so loved the world 
that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life you see sister the life we are living will not end up here the life we are living will not end up here the body we control god put a spirit in it when we die the body will be buried and the spirit will go back to the creator if you serve him very well here on earth you will inherit heaven if you do not hell will be your portion sister like brother sister said god made the body and he has the spare parts to replace each one that is damaged. Um, sister, what is your name? My, my name is Chiamaka. Uh, sister Chiamaka, would you like to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Yes. With all of my heart. Amen. 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 Uh, let us pray. Okay. Repeat after me. You repeat after me. Father, I come to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I come to you in the name of Jesus Christ. I confess my sins and believe that you've forgiven me. I confess my sins and believe that you have forgiven me. Come into my heart. Come into my heart. And be the Lord and Master of my life. And be the Lord and Master of my life. Amen. 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 It is well, sister. Thank you. The brother talking to you is Osita, brother Osita. And my sister here is Sister Rose. Thank you very much. You come again. Bye bye. Send your words and you heal our diseases. Let your words reach this young woman now in Jesus' name. Amen. Our heart is Let your name alone be glorified in Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Father, you say we pray according to your words. We pray in accordance to your words, Lord, that you will hear us and answer us. Thank you, Father, for answering our prayers in Jesus' name. Amen. The hand of the Lord is upon you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank
I would like you to call on somebody to help you really find why you meditate in the woods. Okay? God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Sister Chema. I can see. Jesus Christ. You can see. I can see. Can you touch man? I can see. Oh, you can see? <laughs> surprised I had to cut short my journey to be with you. How about a weekend out? I'm sorry, George. That won't be necessary. George, I have something to tell you. Okay. George, I'm born again. I'm no longer the old Chiamaka you used to know. My Bible says that if any man be in Christ, all things are passed away, and behold, all things have become new. My prayer is that you find the same peace that I have found and change from your ways. George, yes. please, can you give me a minute? I have something for you. Please stay out of this. I know exactly what I'm doing. Don't mind her. She doesn't know what she's doing. I'll keep the keys, okay? Don't touch that! George, please take these things and leave. Chimaka, you are losing it. George is my friend. He will stay or go when I say so. 
George came to see me, and I'm saying he should leave. George, please take these things and leave. Chomaga, if you offer one more word, I will beat the living daylights out of you. I gave you to George, and you will leave him when I say so. You hear me? Can you imagine? Oh, don't worry. It's just a passing phase. I'm, I'm, maybe she's just tired of this phone. I'm sure it's, you know, old fashioned. And maybe she wants a new car. I better we will see. <laughs> don't worry. You know, this young girl is there. They're funny. <laughs> so, um, can I get you something to drink? Um, yes. I couldn't sleep. I. Later on, I took some drugs that I found in my handbag and I slept off. But I woke up the following morning completely blind. Blind? Yes. How? I don't know. I don't know. George took me to the hospital and when we got there, the doctor said that nothing could be done. George left me for another girl and I was left alone. But I thank God that God sent a young man my way, named Usita. Usita, the guy you said proposed to you? Yes. He was here with his sister. Her name is Rose. They came to preach, but mommy sent them away. I managed to call them back and they led me to Christ. They kept visiting, praying with me, and in one of their prayer sessions, I got my healing. You mean you regained your sight? Yes. <laughs> I can't believe this. Is it Jesus Christ that healed the blind? Come oh, on, Chiamaka. Look, I need to go to bed, okay? I'm tired. Wait now, I've not finished explaining. Okay? Explaining? Look, we can talk about it some other time, okay? As you can see, I'm very, very tired. I need to go to bed. Mm -hmm. Mommy, there's something I'd like us to talk about later. What is it? Not now, I'm still washing. Shamaka, you better tell me whatever it is you want to discuss, or you forget it. It's about Daddy. Mom, it's better we call a speed a speed. Forget your pride and go and apologize to Daddy. So, Chamaka, you've grown so big that you can tell me whatever rubbish that springs into your mind. That I should do what? Apologize to that non-entity of a man? Enough! 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 Mommy, enough. let's forget every other thing that has happened. It's, they're all in the past. All things are passed away, and behold, all things are new. So you now have a new life? Yes, I have a new life in the Lord. You have seen the mother of Satan. Mommy, I, I didn't say that. Well, I, I, I'll be going to the village to see Daddy and apologize to him. And I'll be going with Osita to tell him that we're going to get married. If you do that, I will kill you. You hear me? If you dare me, I will kill you with my bare hands. Shut up! 
Remember how I managed to get to the road that night. So I'm so cry again here. Yeah? Everything will soon be alright. Doctor, thank you very much for giving us the privilege of getting all the information we need. You're welcome. Have some rest, as the doctor says. I personally guarantee that I will take care of everything. Whoever has done this to you will answer for it. Hmm? Honey, let's go. I'm right back to see you, okay? Yeah, hello. Yeah, can I speak to the DPO? Okay. Aha, uh -huh. Kunle? Yes, yes, yes. You remember the case I told you about? The young girl I picked up by the roadside? Yes. I have gotten all the information I need to make an arrest. So please, I need you to send two of your men to go along with me. Oh, you don't need to come yourself. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, just send two of your men. I'll go along with them so that they can make the arrest. Okay. Okay, thanks a lot. Thanks, thanks a lot. I'll be seeing you later at the station. Okay, bye-bye.
Ojiani, what is it? I... Why are you shouting like that? Do you know that girl that claims to be a Pamwa? Uh -huh. If you know what that girl did to me today. Oh, hey. is it that one that, that her legs, like legs look like a Mr. Ebo's legs? I don't care if her legs look like that of Karibu West. Look, by the time we leave here today, I will have made up my mind of what I want to do. That is serious. Very, very serious. I don't know what you want to do. Okay, Mark, okay. my heart is burning here. Hey! Let us finish, eh? Yes. What's going on here? Uh, sorry, gentlemen. Please, do you import your own drinks? Bam! Uh, we've been here for some time and nobody cared to ask for what we want. No drinks for us? Or this is not uh, Madam Vicky's restaurant. Here you go! Uh, uh, okay. Give us a drink now. Uh, uh, wait, let me shadow her for you. Uh, Madam Vicky Vicky! Vicky, Vicky! Come on, you have some very important visitors. People from America are here to give you a dollar to chop. Exactly. Uh, so, what is your brand? Stout for me. Okay. And you, sir? A mold for me. Okay, I'm going to mind if you do what's on okay. round the seven. Uh, whatever these gentlemen are having, give them another round. Yeah. Oh my God. What are you looking for? I am looking for a chairman. Does this place look like a church? Does it look like her house? How many times have I warned you not to look for her here? Huh? Get out! Get out of here! Victoria has to break her Oh, you got it. I'm <laughs> um, IK and you are Uster, right? Yes, yes I am. Um, do you know Chiamaka? Chiamaka, yes I do. Did you see her? Uh, not really. Uh, is the owner of this restaurant her mother? Yes, she is. Uh, Madam Vicky. So, what, do you know her brother? Her brother? Yeah, he's Amechi. Is anything the matter? Um, yes. When last, when last did you see her? Uh, the last time I saw Chiamaka, it's been a month now or two. But each time I come around asking after her from her mother, she keeps telling me she traveled. Really? Uh. That's Amichi coming. That's him. Alright, thank you very much. Is that alright? You said IK, right? Yeah, IK. It's okay. It's a pleasure. Yeah, thanks, eh? Yeah. Uh, oh, my John, man. That's the guy you're talking about. Let's go. In fact, let us go.
Chamaka always travel without letting you know wherever she's going to? No. That's good. Now, ever she's, since she traveled, have you ever bothered to ask after her whereabouts? She's always been able to take care of herself. Does that mean she's not important to you? Just tell her she did it! I didn't do anything. Shit! Hey, hey. So 
right now. The case will soon be taken to court. I don't know how to thank you enough. It's okay. It's okay. Good day, sir. Good day. How are you? Chief? Daddy is here. Daddy! Chief, what can I do? Who did this to you? Vicky. How can Vicky be so wicked? It's now I realize that I married a Satan in human shell. It's okay, my dear. Uh, Papa, 
Yes, Papa. This is the man I told you that picked up Chiamaka. This man. Yes, Papa. My son, whatever help you have rendered to my daughter, God will do same to you and your entire household in Jesus' name. Amen. God will bless you abundantly and your entire household in Jesus' name. Amen. I learned that Vicky has been arrested. Yes, she has been arrested. Is she dead? No, she's still being held by the police. To oh, to please, do me a favor. Tell the police to release her. I want to strangle her with my own hands. It's okay, sir. Everything is under control. No, the police cannot control it. I want to control it myself. It's all right, sir. Please take it easy. You still have a new lease of life to live. I mean, you have your daddy, you have me, Sister Rose by you, the doctor who devoted all his time attending to you. Have you forgotten Mr. Jerry? His wife? They're all great people God sent to bring back joy and love into your life. Please, don't think any further. Jim, I have something great for you. Immediately you're discharged from this hospital. We'll get married. I'll keep my promise. Oh God, thank you. It's okay. It's my okay. heart is overwhelmed with joy. It's alright. Chamaka. I am happy to tell you that Mr. Gerard has made contact for the surgical operation at Brad. You will have to tell me more about that later. Thank you very much. I think we should give all thanks and praise to God because He was the one who led me to that place that day and made me to see you and then bring you here to the hospital. He's the one who has made all things possible. I also wish to thank my good friend Henry, the doctor who has devoted so much of his time You're to taking care of you, thank you and everybody for the concern they have shown. I believe my wife has something to say. Yes, yes. Mr. Chamaka, my son who is in America sent the sum of 450,000 naira to you mm. after I told him all that happened to you. Thank you very much. Don't mention, don't mention. Madam, may God bless you and your husband. Amen. I don't know how to thank you. Sister Shamaka, God's favor is on you. This is a check of uh, 85,000 naira. I was donated in the church. I decided to bring it to you. Thank you very much, Pastor. Oh, no, 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 Thank no. you. Who am I to take God's glory? Who am I? Give all glory to God. Hmm? Give all glory to God. So, show my God. God is in control. Mm. So, brethren, let us close our eyes and thank you. Our Father and our God, I want to thank you for the wonderful thing you've done in the life of Shepherd. Hello, my dear. Hello. Where are you calling from? The airport? This is incredible. Your phone is supposed to be in two hours' time. 
You are here already. Oh, bless you. Where is she, Amaka? Is she there with you? Let me have a word with her. Oh. Chia Maka, how are you? Oh, congratulations. Welcome back. Okay, do you know what? I'll be at the airport right now to pick you people up. I'll be there now, now, now. Give the phone back to him. Oh, my dear, welcome. I'm so happy. Okay, I'll be there right now to pick you up. Right now. I was about going out, but I'll pick you up now. Okay, okay. Daddy, that is why I have come to apologize to you. I know a lot of things happened, but I'm asking that you put everything behind you. It's all in the past. If I had known better, things wouldn't have gone this bad. So that is why I've come to ask for forgiveness. Let's have a new life again. Please. Chiamaka. You're my daughter. I'm happy today because you have realized what you, your mother and Amechi, have done to me. I'm sure you can still recollect what happened between you, your mother, Amechi and I. It was a sad experience. But you have to thank God today that I'm alive. You have to thank God that He destined me to stay a long time, that I have a long life to live. Otherwise, today, you will not see anybody to apologize to. All the same, I am not God. If I say I will not forgive you, my daughter, so how do I expect you to forgive me my own trespasses? Forgive you. I will also plead with your uncles. Who people insulted them last time they visited you. I will plead with them to forgive you. Thank you, Daddy. Daddy, there's something else I'd like to tell you. There's there's this if somebody a friend of mine has asked for my hand in marriage and I have accepted. So he said he will be here tomorrow to see you. Well, this is a, <laughs> a good news to me. Um, you are bringing back my happiness. The information you are giving me today is making me to smile once more. Uh, and I'm happy about it. Um, all the same. Is your mother part of this? No, not exactly. I told her about it, but she objected. What for? She wants me to marry one old man, but I don't want to. Forget about your mother. Forget about her. As long as I live, you will get all the support you want. You will achieve the result you want. I will tell your uncles, they will give you all the support. Forget about her. Thank you, I'm still living. You. You're welcome. Uh, go and find something. Eat. Eat. I prepare my own. I'll, I'll come and eat later. Eh? Thank you. Um, um, <coughs> my son, uh, we have heard what your intention is concerning our daughter. Um, you know what marriage is all about in Ibo land. Tradition demands that marriage goes for the elders. It's not a boyish affair. 
So if people like you come for a marriage, it's, it's, it will be like you have come for a concubine business. <laughs> <laughs> so that is why I'm advising you that uh, you go back home, inform your people, the elders in your village, let them give us a, de a date. The elders, some of us elders in this village, we have to wait for them. Then two of us will come together and formalize this issue of marriage. And tradition will be obeyed. So when we're doing certain things, our ancestors will not pay, they will not like to kill us because we disobeyed them. <laughs> so you call them and everything will be formalized. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Yes, so I do what my brother has said. Is there no white haired man in your village? Instead of coming with uh, a young man like this, eh? <laughs> come with white uh, haired men who will speak to us in the language we will understand. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, my elders. Uh, Thank you once again. Um, I've heard what you said. And uh, me and my friend will, go, will get back to our people with the good news. And uh, I can assure you. I want to assure you that uh, very soon we we'll send a message to you um, that's all. on when to come okay. you know, yeah, for what the tradition demands. Yes. Yes. That's all. That's please, what I'm talking please, about. please, my young man, please do take care of our daughter. Uh, you know, she is a very precious daughter to us. Please, just uh, take care of her. Eh? Uh, thank you very much. Uh -huh. I will take good care of her. <laughs> I know it's not what I said. Yeah, it's not what I said. Whatever that will take place in that, my daughter is back. <laughs> and I know that he's going to. Go, go and bring that special dish you prepared for. Chiamaka, what did you come ah, for? A few days ago. Ah, welcome. You're welcome. Fine, thank you. Uh, How's everything? I'm fine. You've fine. changed. Uh, this one you're you. carrying, this hope. Ah, you are safe. Chiamaka, you're not you're a big girl. very game. safe. Let me quickly use this you opportunity and share something with you. Okay, sit down. Nothing like better you carry come. <laughs> what I would share with you is nothing more than God's word and the way it applies to our daily living. Um, the Bible says that we should glorify God in all we do, even in the way we present ourselves. You know, addressing the way we walk, the way we talk, the way we do everything we do as human beings, it's, it's meant to glorify God. You know, so the things we wear, they're not meant to be revealing, they shouldn't reveal because those things are meant like you girls are beautiful girls, you know, and, and you too. Whatever you have as an asset should be kept, you know, holy and untouched. Not just for God, but for your own husband. You know, so we should dress appropriately. You know, not revealing our bodies and, you know, using our beauty for all we're not supposed to do. And Chavata, I'm going to now. I'll see you later, okay? Thank you. All right. Bye -bye. Okay, let me see. Okay. I'm sure you understand what I'm trying yes, to say. Yes, I understand. You know, because it's, it's, it really doesn't make sense revealing our bodies, you know, using our beauty for something else. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, let's just see that. That's how we do it. I will. Right. Let me hurry up. I have to prepare something. How is your dad? He's fine. Bye bye. Okay, let me check. Please, this one, this one, they're not for me to cook my food. Okay.
Let me check. Eh? I'm coming. <laughs> Could you imagine I saw your husband, brother's daughter going around to preach? So she's not born again. Is there a chair, Maka? Yes. My sister, I thank God. Mm -hmm. eh? I say God is wonderful. Mm -hmm. uh, haven't you heard? Mm -hmm. yes. Your husband are coming next month for her traditional wedding. Mm -hmm. So, you mean after end. what she, Maka, and her mother did, you mean a responsible man came to marry her? Chia. He said, yes. so, you are part of her? First, we have to thank God that you are the one who has come and gone. We have to thank God that during that occasion, there was no accident. Uh, what I want to say is this. I know that you people are going to plan for a white wedding. Please, make it moderate. Because you still have a very long way. To go, yes. All your activities and endeavors, God will be with you. You see? There will be no quarrel in this marriage. He said. There will be no fighting in this marriage. He said. God will give you people children according to his wish. He said. And finally, you people will be in front and not at the back. <laughs> <laughs> so go in peace. Yes. <laughs> uh, Maz, uh, do you have something to yeah. add? Yes. Um, Shamaka, you and your husband. Our wish for you is that you will live and witness your children's children's ceremony like this in Jesus' name. Yes. 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 And he will grant you Johnny Mercy in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You are blessed. Uh, and uh, I know that our ancestors are happy yes. over this very marriage. For sure. I know they will grant you everything you need. You and your husband. Yes. They will grant you so many children that you are able to train. <laughs> yes. okay. yes. And uh, this marriage is going to be a successful one. Oh, yes. Yes. So, <laughs> go in peace. It is well with you. Yes. 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 Y